Unsolved 2016, the case of 19-year-old Andrew Otengawusu. Andrew Otengawusu was stabbed in the leg on Lovelinch Estate in Bermondsey on Wednesday, the 3rd of August 2016, at about 11.35pm, and died the following day. He had lived about 50 yards away in Upnall House on the first floor and staggered back home after being stabbed. He was found by his mother on the balcony outside their doorstep, crying out for help with blood pouring from his leg. He was taken to King's Cross Hospital at 11.40pm where he underwent emergency surgery but died 12 hours later at 11.30am. His cause of death was given as being due to a single stab wound. He was stabbed at the junction of Hornsnay Street with Love Lynch Close, which is near the Millwall Football Stadium and after he was stabbed he was helped back home by a young black man who the police said that they were trying to trace. He was described as being in his late teens or early to mid-twenties and wearing a white t-shirt. His mother had had kidney problems and had been on dialysis at the time and had needed a stick to walk about and Andrew Otenga Wasso had been bringing home her shopping. His mother said that Andrew Otenga Wasso had been offering to donate one of his kidneys to her for over a year. The police said that they were also looking for another youth who had directed the police into the estate shortly after the murder. He was described as a black youth in his late teens and wearing grey clothing and who had been riding a moped. Two other men were also seen in the area on CCTV footage and the police appealed for them to come forward in case they had seen anything. A 55-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of his murder on the 6th of September 2016 but no charges were made. Andrew Otenga was was described as a gentle giant. He had gone to St Thomas the Apostle Catholic College in Peckham. At the time, he'd been waiting for his A-level results and was hoping to go to university. Nothing more was known about who stabbed Andrew Otengawasu or why, and his murder remains unsolved to this day.